Good afternoon, church family. Today is Monday, the 1st of August. Uh, I don't know what happened to summer, and uh, if you're a, a student, I don't know what happened to your summer vacation, because I know we are quickly heading to a new school year and, uh, and toward the fall. I love the summer, and so for, uh, for me to have to confess that uh, we are moving out of it is, is quite a bitter pill to swallow, but uh, the Lord is good. He, uh, all the times of, and seasons are in his hands, and so we can trust him and walk with him and, uh, and just shiver a little bit when it gets cooler. So I know some of you are so grateful that it's about to get cooler. Uh, I actually love the warmth. So anyway, well, I'm glad you tuned in today. I want to give you my update for this week. Uh, for First Baptist Church Concord, I'm excited of the things that are coming up. And I just want to, uh, to remind you of what we have going on. First, uh, I'm going to start a new sermon series this next Sunday. We finished Acts yesterday. And so this coming Sunday, I'm going to start a new eight-week series entitled Celebrating the Church. We're actually beginning that celebration of the church uh, with the Lord's Supper. So this Sunday, we're going to celebrate the Lord's Table. Um, some of you call it communion. We'll be together over that. And so please come back this Sunday and uh, unite with us as we talk through, as we really launch this ser sermon series entitled Celebrating the Church. I can't wait for it. It'll be a lot of fun. Second, ladies, I want to remind you that on uh, August the 13th, uh, which is a Saturday, we are going to have Flamingo, which is a time of fun and games uh, led by our Hope Women's Ministry. Um, you should have already signed up for it, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, so make sure you pay attention to that. I have in my hot little hand two tickets to our baseball night. These are my tickets. Uh, if you signed up for tickets and uh, have paid, you need to come get them either at the church office or you can wait until this coming Sunday and retrieve them from Pastor Aaron. Um, it should be a lot of fun. To remind you, that baseball night is Friday night, August the 12th, and so it's coming up very quickly. Uh, Man Church is back. We start it this month, Thursday night, August 18th. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. It starts at 6.30. Come out and be a part of it with us. Uh, we should enjoy it together. Um, I love it. It's real. We really have people from outside our, our own church family that come, and that's a lot of fun to see them and get to know them. It's really a community of men from our community. So come out and be a part of that, 6.30, Thursday evening, August the 18th. Uh, I do want to tell you something. Usually I don't tell you something that we've done, only those things which we're going to do. Uh, but uh, we have, in the past few years, uh, done a picnic, end of summer picnic, back to school picnic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we usually do it around, um, uh, around the end of August. We are not doing that the end of this August. And the reason is it was just so hot last year and for the last couple of years. And without the barn there, which is air conditioned or at least cooled a little bit, um, it's just really difficult for us to enjoy it. So um, we may bring that up as we go later into the fall uh, where it's still warm but yet cool enough to not be um, so oppressive. And so uh, pay attention, keep your ears open for that, but we are not doing one in August. It was just too, too hot last year. And then finally, let me go over something that I went over yesterday just briefly. I'm going to, I didn't go over it briefly yesterday. I am going to go over it briefly now. Um, yesterday, I, in our combined Sunday school, I talked about uh, our, our adult Sunday school classes that are on the office wing, which I call the education wing, uh, asking them to consider moving downstairs underneath the sanctuary. Now, it'll be a, a level entrance coming in. If you park up front, you can walk right in those doors and be on a level entrance. You have an elevator to take you to the sanctuary. Uh, it's a shorter walk all the way around. But the reason we need to do this, or the reason why I'm asking you to consider it, is because we need space for our children. We need to be able to consolidate our children's ministry together. Uh, the wing that is downstairs that is typical for, the, uh, for our children's ministry uh, is the ABC preschool has grown into it. it they're, they're expanding into that area. 
And so it would be a help if we could move them upstairs. So I've asked our adult Sunday school classes, there are four on this wing. I've asked them to consider moving downstairs. We'll have more conversation later. I just wanted you to hear it from me. I believe it's the right thing to do, at least in the interim, as we seek to uh, focus on our children's ministry and, uh, and to encourage that children's ministry to grow. Uh, because children's, children's ministry, growing children's ministry means growing young families, which means a growing church, which means a growing future. And so we want to make disciples, not just in the next 10 years, but if Jesus tarries, we want to make disciples here in Concord for a hundred years plus until Jesus comes back. And so that's our goal. And we want to set ourselves up for that kind of success. So all of that said, uh, that's what's going on this week. I want to remind you that on Wednesday evenings, we have, uh, we have our choir meeting. We have a meal together. We have a time of Bible study and prayer together. And then after Labor Day, we will begin our RAs, GAs, and mission friends as well. So all of that stuff uh, will begin after Labor Day, but we are meeting for Bible study, prayer, choir, food and fellowship on Wednesday evenings right now. So if you'd like to come and be a part of that, if you'd like to eat um, a meal with us this Sunday or this Wednesday night, uh, call uh, church office, get scheduled for that so that we can make enough for everybody. And we will see you Wednesday night. Church family, I love you. I'm so grateful to be your pastor. It's good to be able to speak with you in this way. Uh, I've been now doing this for a little over two years, two and a half years, giving you this update. It started with COVID, uh, but I want to keep it as long as we can. It's a great way for me to be able to speak to you, even though I can't receive any communication back. So uh, if you have anything that I've said that you'd like to talk about, give me a call, shoot me an email, grab me on Wednesday night as we're together, or speak to me on Sunday morning. Uh, however it works for you, I'm here for you. I am your pastor. I do love you. I can't wait to see you. Talk to you later. God bless you. Have a great week.